This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament and TSD Airsoft. Welcome back to What Else Is There, the program where we broaden your horizons to show you comparable alternatives to the guns that you're already interested in. Today we're going to take a look at the MK16. It's a very high-tech and very versatile gun that's becoming more and more popular each day. The MK16 is made by a lot of different manufacturers, but what are you going to do when the Chinese ones aren't available anymore? Well, to help answer this question, we're going to take a look at all of the MK16s that aren't made in China. This list includes Classic Army, G&G, Ares, and VFC. Stay tuned when we return. Okay, just like all the other What Else Is There episodes, we're going to start with the cheapest gun and work our way up towards the most expensive. So that means at $370, the Classic Army MK16 is the first gun that we're going to take a look at today. This is basically the first MK16 replica that we saw in the airsoft world. Yes, JLS did beat Classic Army to the punch by a few months, but this is the first well-made, mass-produced MK16, and it's a pretty good one as well. The weight of the gun is pretty heavy, especially compared to the other MK16s that we're going to look at today, so I can only assume that this metal upper receiver is made out of heavy steel. All of the MK16s have high-tech folding stocks, but Classic Army's is the only one with this big battery wire going from the stock to the body of the gun. Obviously, you need to connect the battery to this gun because it's an AEG. Some of the features on it that set it apart from the other manufacturers are the charging handle. This is a functioning charging handle, but the bolt catch does not function. Classic Army have included a convertible barrel with their model. However, you will need to get a different inner barrel, as you can see, if you want to use this in the CQB form. The magazine holds 300 rounds and the muzzle velocity is somewhere between 320 and 350 FPS. This gun is covered by Classic Army's 60 Days Manufacturer's Warranty. gun on our list is the G&G MK16. At $380, this gun is $10 more expensive than the Classic Army. A couple of the differences though are the construction. Okay, This gun is made out of aluminum, or at least the upper receiver is, and so the total weight for the gun is a lot lighter than the Classic Army. The stock design is a little more complex, and but it is kind of similar to the Classic Army. Yes, there is a small wire here connecting the stock to the body of the gun, but when you connect your battery, you're actually connecting it to the stock the stock has two prongs in it that connect to the wire, and the wire connects itself to the... It's pretty complicated, but the end result is a much smaller wire that's a little harder to see, and it still gives you the folding functionality of the stock. The muzzle velocity on this gun is a little more than the Classic Army, somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 FPS or so. The magazine holds 450 rounds instead of 300. That's 150 rounds more than the Classic Army mag. And this grip box is included. Okay, G&G give you a matching grip pod with their MK16. You've got the black one, they give you a black grip pod. As you'll notice, this is the CQC version of the MK16. G&G does not offer a convertible barrel, so if you like the CQC version, you would buy this one. If you like the carbine version, you would get the longer one. The price is exactly the same. This gun is covered under a warranty, but it's not a manufacturer's warranty. It's covered by us, Airsoft GI, for 15 days. So if you bought this gun from another retailer, you probably wouldn't have a warranty with it. This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by Echo One USA. Alright, this is going to be a pretty unique entry into what else is there. This is the Ares MK16 with EGLM. This is the most expensive and the third most expensive MK16 we're going to look at today. If that doesn't make sense, just bear with me for a few minutes. When Ares first released their MK16, they only offered it with the EGLM. And the price tag on this combination that you see here is $671. But just recently, they began to offer their MK16 without the EGLM with the price tag of $399. A couple of things that set it apart from the rest, aside from the obvious, are the magazines. Ares offers their, their MK16 with a 170 round mid capacity magazine, the only company that does not offer a high cat with their MK16. 
The stock design is very clever. The wires have been replaced by a very clever hinge system so that the wires do not need to be there anymore. The muzzle velocity on this gun is between 330 and 350 FPS. This gun is covered under warranty. Again, it's the Airsoft GI 15 day warranty. If you bought this gun from another retailer, you probably would not have a warranty coverage. least is the VFC MK16. I think that this is the most realistic looking, functioning, and feeling MK16 of the group. And for that, you get to pay $420. The construction is like the GNG and the Ares. It's made out of aluminum, so it's really lightweight. The charging handle and bolt catch and release are functional. Stock falls to the side, and there are no visible wires. Like the Ares, it has a very clever hinge system for the stock to eliminate the wires. Like the Classic Army, VFC offers a convertible barrel, but unlike any of the other manufacturers, they also offer a shorter inner barrel so that you can actually shorten the length of the gun and not hide it with a barrel extension. Also included from VFC is a hard carrying case which makes transportation and storage ideal for this gun. This gun is covered under warranty. It's Airsoft GI's 15 days warranty. Uh, if you bought this gun from another retail, it probably wouldn't be covered. That's all for this episode of What Else Is There? Catch us next time. So if you bought this gun from another retailer, you probably wouldn't have a warranty with it. Was that thunder? I don't know, it's just heavy rain that just came down. It's super raining right now? Yeah, it is. It's just like out of the movie. Yeah, this thing. Our lights are gonna go out. Ah!